Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. Today's update here for Hedera. We are trading at 0 0.07924, 24 hour volume. We are up 3.42%. Market cap, we are down 2.52%. So, heading back to our chart here. Now, what we can see from our daily chart, we've been pretty capped up around 0 0.0832, coming down as the RSI of the K only reached 75%. So we can see already there's weakness as it comes to our RSI for Hedera. We saw um, you know, retracement levels roughly around 100 to 83%. And then all of a sudden, a cap at 75%. So the weakness for the buyers, we didn't even hit our trend line at the very top. So it could be very alarming as the trend is coming down. We're seen basically in the middle of our trend line. So we're going to quickly, um, you know, Take a look at closer to a four hour time frame. Take a look at the activity as well because it is concerning um, for myself to see this basically cap up from here. Now, what we can see so far again are essential um, divergence here for our bearish divergence. Here, the price is found here and the RSI was really high coming back down and we see again something different that we're seeing. We're seeing increase in price here. Divergence is down. So price is going to come back down and retrace as this bearish convergence that we see here. Going into immediate short term for four hours, you know, as the price came up near the area of resistance, price is coming back down. We can see our K line at 4% and our D line at 14%. Still hasn't really signaled an area of opportunity to buy, but the RSI is still quite low as a good area of an opportunity as we found support roughly around zero to one percent and we are at the four percent itself if we look at momentum for the four hour time frame let's quickly take a look at that you guys so we can see momentum still in the bear market above zero percent so price is going to come back down it's a good thing that we're seeing some um you know retracement or some support at the 50 percent if the price, okay, if the price of the MACD is going to increase in size of the momentum for the bear, we may actually break through this 50% of our fib threat that we have laid out. We may actually see ourselves coming even lower. Now I'm just going to quickly do a new fib from the top to the bottom here, um, actually to the bottom of this right here. So 50% of our old FIB um, compared to our newer one, we can actually come back down a little bit more for 0 0.0775 here. I'm going to quickly take out our fixed indicator to see the current movement in terms of trades. Now we can see on our old one, our 50% had a little bit more coverage where we saw more orders around here opposed to, you know, or 50, which is just slightly around this node here. So this is um, the volume pr fixed profile allows us to generate the buys and sell trades or volume, especially like calculates the same volume as um, the hour mark. This does it for the price mark. So where we're seeing hopefully an area of support because our RSI is as low and we're hoping it crosses over as the momentum lightens up around the bear area. This is going to be our support area for Hedera right here at 0 0.0780. If we fall through this, really there's not a whole lot of nodes that we can see. So we're hoping that we can rely closer to 38%. And again, overall, if we take a look at it, we're still in our trend line at the very bottom here. We're still um, within that channel, the uptrend channel. So if price is going to come back down because of this bear market, we're going to be capped and hopefully hold support around 0.0. 0781. So that's my update here for Hedera, you guys. I do feel like price is going to come back down overall for Hedera. Um, and I'm hoping we do really, really hold around this area here. We can already see it is considered to be oversold as the Bollinger Bands are squeezing in. It is, um, you know, expanding in this candlestick and we're found at the very bottom. So that plus our RSI, plus an area of support that we're found in a volume um, for a volume indicator should be enough signs for us to bounce really nicely and come back up into the 61 phase or at least come back up closer to our 20 MA and hopefully break through that for an uptrend for Hedera. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.